And just like that, we're back. And on this very special edition of Rad BMX Builds, we have the brand new Kuahara ET Bike 40th Anniversary Edition. I got lucky enough that when I was over at Race Inc, talking to Race Inc Art, that they had an extra one that wasn't sold yet, so I couldn't say no, I had to pick it up. It didn't take a lot of twisting of my arm to get it, so I grabbed it threw it in my car and brought it home and I'm gonna share it with you. We're gonna do an unboxing. I know you've probably seen a few of these out there, but I thought you would like to see the buildup of the bike. Now, I am gonna go full crazy on this. I'm gonna get the ET flight pads. I'm also going to get a milk crate and an ET doll, and this will be a static display bike in my collection. So I had to do the full ET build. You won't see the ET doll or milk crate today. You're just gonna see the bike. But I'm purchasing those parts, and when they come, you can check it out on my Instagram. Let's take a look at the box. Okay, here it is, the brand new in the box, Kuahara. And I can't wait to open this up. I think it's gonna be sick and in good company with the Mongoose PK Ripper and Schwinn Predator. Let's open it up. Okay, you can see that in the box, there's a box which has the Kuahara grips. It's like some bar ends. Kuahara seat. Which is just a padded BMX seat with Kuahara printed on it. Which I might swap out. I have an Alina seat. And then here it is in that metallic red, white, and black. So let's pull it out and take a look at it. Okay, as so you can see, you got one box with the seat and grips. Then you got your pedals, some brakes, Got some nice MX-1000 front brakes. Here's your stem. And it looks like you got a kickstand if you want it. Seat post, so a lot of the components are taken off. A little bell. Um, and put into a box for you, chain guard. But here it is, wrapped up. See some Kuahara stamping on the dropout and on the chain ring kind of looks like a gt uh, 90s chain ring there so a lot of zip ties i'm going to start cutting those off these are the bars the v bars a sun tour type seat post clamp but i know it's hard to see wrapped up so let me peel all this off and we'll take another look at it okay here it is completely unwrapped Beautiful loop tail. I got really lucky. There is no chips, dings, scratches, or anything on this bike. I did drop the beautiful stem in there, just so you can see what it looks like. Gorgeous colors, nice chrome V-bars, Dicomp MX-1000, front and rear brakes. It's got some Welgo pedals, which I might swap out. Really digging the Kuahara grips. Nice gloss black straight seat post. And the wheels are pretty sweet because the hub is marked Kuahara. And then it comes with some Gumwall Comp 3 knobby type tires, which are, I love. They're some of my favorites. So a pretty sick looking bike. And it should be real simple to just slap this thing together. And uh, we're going to do that and we'll be right back and show you what it looks like. We'll line it up with these other three beautiful bikes. And we'll have four gorgeous old school bikes set up here in the shop.
Okay, let's talk about that Kuahara build just for a moment. It came out of the box mostly assembled, but I would say the difficulty would be a little more moderate than a typical bike that comes out of the box, only because you had to do all of the brakes and brake lines, which are pretty simple. It's just more work than you'd normally get of an out of the box type build. It didn't give me any problems whatsoever. The bike went together really well and I couldn't be happier with it. I do have to tell you, this is how the bike looks when you get it out of the box. I am gonna buy the ET pads from Flight and I am going to buy an ET doll basket for the front of the bike and I'll be posting those on Instagram like I said earlier. Okay, I hope you liked that build. Let's do a short little reveal and show you what the bike looks like. I think it looks right at home with some actual old school BMX bikes that I have here in the shop. So we're gonna slowly pan down the line and give you a reveal of the 40th anniversary Kuahara ET bike. All right, what'd you think of it? Comment down below so I know. I really like it. The tubes are real small, just like the old school one inch tubes that you would find. They did an amazing job to make it look just like the originals did. They couldn't have done much more than what they've done. And I couldn't be more happy to own this bike. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the build. And if you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna bring you a lot of rad content, a lot of builds coming really soon. I have one being delivered in, in just a few moments by FedEx, so I'm waiting for that, and that video will be coming soon. Also, I have another Race Inc. build up there behind me that that video will be coming soon as well. So we're just pumping out videos one after another for you, so please hit that subscribe button to keep it going. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanted any of those parts, the lube, the tools, anything like that or parts for your bike, hit the link below to my Amazon store and go get you some parts or, or whatever you need or tools. Also, if you need merch, radbmxbuilds.com slash merch. The sales of my merch really help fund this channel and you look rad wearing it. So thanks again and as always, stay rad. Oh, 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 oh,